guys, it's uh, Saturday. I haven't really been doing much today. Uh, there's a Game of Thrones marathon on right now. It's about the most that's happened today. Uh, Alexis, I'm really sorry that your job sucks sometimes. That's really horrible. Um, I really hope you get a waitressing job because that just seems like it fits you so much better than driving around delivering pizzas. I know we've kind of talked about that before, but I don't know, you're just so open and smiley and I think you'd make a lot in tips and that just seems like it fits more than the driving around stressful pizza thing. Uh, Becky, <laughs> sort of uh, the thing about um, thinking about uh, Rory because of the Roman thing and the Jesus thing. Uh, and then Alexis commented on it and it made me think that when I think of uh, Roman legions, at least right now, um, it makes me think of a, uh, a Russian book called uh, The Master and Margarita, which I have started reading because uh, I'm running out of Animorphs books. But it's a Soviet satire, uh, I think written like, like the 30s or 40s. Um, but the narrative is split between uh, Soviet Moscow in 1930s, I think, and uh, like 80, 26 or something, and it follows uh, Pontius Pilate and his ordeals right after he meets Jesus and it, um, orders his execution. Uh, but it's, it's really interesting and, and funny in strange ways, uh, just because the, the um, bit in Jerusalem is told by the devil who arrives in, uh, in Moscow, a staunchly um, atheist Soviet Moscow, and he's a little bit um, amazed that no one believes in God, like very staunchly doesn't believe in God, like uh, like they don't even think Jesus existed, kind of atheist. And uh, the devil thinks that's interesting, and he's like, well, actually, I'll tell you a story because I happen to be there. And he, do he doesn't just introduce himself as the devil, but um, he tells this story, so it's sort of two layers. If, really good book. Uh, I know we're supposed to be focusing on the other one. Uh, but until we get caught up sort of reading bits and pieces of other things. Uh, let me see. What else? I made a Tumblr post that has 99 notes on it. Just more than I've ever had on anything before. And compared to like the notes they get tens of thousands of notes, that isn't very much, but I only have like 70 people that follow my Tumblr, so yay. <laughs> Never ever tell you guys what it was about. Uh, what else? Not much, um, I guess. I've, I've been taking the dogs on walks, my, my head itches. Uh, I'm taking the dogs on walks because my grandmother is away on her class reunion thing. Uh, so I, I actually f not really found, I, I've been on this trail before, but there's a nice trail kind of by my house that, uh, I don't know, I'll have to do one of these videos on that trail sometime because it's really pretty. And at the moment there's, there's a bunch of lupin blooming and it's just everywhere. So it's just like this entire forest that's kind of purple with flowers and they come up to like my shoulder. They're really big. And what else? Nothing much, actually. I need to uh, call Alexis back. I saw that you called me again, uh, like right when I went to go get my phone to make the video, because uh, it was back in the bathroom charging. Uh, yeah, not much going on. Not much going on. Uh, oh, I, I started. This is. This is what's going on, and this is why I don't have much to say, because I'm kind of embarrassed that this is all I have going on. Uh, I, I started, I've gotten to like level 40, like mid 40s on my sneak archery character on Skyrim, so I started a, uh, a magic user elf lady, and uh, I think I'm on like level 22 or something, but I basically just, you know, kind of doing what I need to to level up, but uh, doing the things that I didn't get to do on my, my other character. So I'm doing the Imperial Civil War questline 
And, you know, I was just like doing the main quest, uh, just to do it, I guess. But I got to, this is going to make like no sense to Becky, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, right before you go to Sovngarde, there's like that kind of mini boss thing where you have to go and defeat the guy and the two dragons all at once. And I am, <laughs> the, the magic character is so, so underprepared for that. It's just, it's kind of scary. And I'm trying to think of how I got past those two dragons at once, uh, like last time, you know, with my sneak character. And I think it's because with sneak, I could like archery them in two shots each. So I could just like do them individually. But now I try to do it with magic or with, um, conjure, conjured, uh, weapons or such. And they do not get the job done. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of swarmed by a frost dragon and elder dragon, and I'm using storm call, you know, in a fit of panic, and I die kind of instantly. Uh, so that happened. Oh, and then I tried to finish the Imperial Civil War questline, and I got to Windhelm and went to go kill Ulfric, and then the game bugged out, and so... Tullius and Ricka just kind of stand there and then both well, the other guys just like attack me and then They'll you know, they'll go into their little ah, I'm dead and they like crawling on the floor pose, but um, They don't do the surrender dialogue or anything. So I Had to do some horrible things to the the game file to make uh, them killable and so I finished the quest on uh, the quest line, but I didn't get any of the surrender dialogue, which is unfortunate, because pretty much the only thing I like about Ulfric is his voice. And yeah, that's really it. Uh, so that's what I've actually been up to. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to try to get back into uh, finishing Assassin's Creed, because I'm like, I don't know, I finished like all of the uh, like sort of side quest things, so I feel like I've been playing the game forever, but I've really just been doing all the side quests and not doing any main quests, so I don't think I'm actually very far along in the game. I just It just feels like I am. Uh, but I, I heard someone on my Twitter feed was uh, really excited because the next Assassin's Creed game is going to have a co-op, apparently. Um, I don't know if that's how different that is to the like multiplayer online thing that they have. I mean, if it was more like like the Portal co-op or something, that would be really cool. I'd be totally on board with that. Because, you know, when you say co-op, it makes it sound like it's just like two people instead of the, you know, all out, everyone just go in trying to kill everyone at once thing like they do in the multiplayer. So if it actually is co-op, then that would be very exciting. What else? Oh, some news coming out of Comic-Con, I think, about uh, new core episodes, season two, and it uh, makes me excited for the next season, even though I was really disappointed about um, the season finale on the first season. Uh, but from what it sounds like they're doing, um, the reasons why I was really disappointed in the first season, uh, one of the big things was just that they completely... Um, like completely sidelined core spiritual development. So it sounds like they kind of did that because then if they had kind of wrapped that up or gotten more on that, then they wouldn't have anything to do a second season about. So it's kind of annoying, but on the other hand, yay more spirit world, Korra actually developing as a character stuff. So that's good. And uh, let me see, I'm going to and in this video, it's getting kind of long, so it might take a while, but um, hopefully I can call one of you while it's loading. And then I have to take the dogs on a walk. And then sleep, I think. That's probably what it's going to be. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. See you later. Hope everyone's having a happy, stress-free day. And... Bye.